Hello, this video is about how to install the capacitive fuel sensor. Before installation, make sure the fuel tank is empty. The installation position should be at the center of the tank. Avoid the built-in gauge and fuel tube. Mark the position center. Clear the debris. When the hole is near to drill through, stop drilling and use nipple pliers to take it out. Cut the hole while clearing the debris to avoid it drop inside. If in case some debris drop inside, use rope tie the magnet and put inside the tank to pick up the debris. Mirror the tank height to determine the fuel sensor length. This measurement starts under the fuel sensor head and 3 mm shorter than the tank height. Remove the burrs and debris at the cutting area to avoid short circuit. Clear it like this. Then put into liquid and shake to completely clear it. Remove the plug from the unwanted part and plug into the tube. Open the cover to connect the calibrator. Calibration is necessary after fuel sensor is cut is to calibrate the full level and empty level. The calibrator has internal battery, so no need to connect the external power. The calibration depends on the liquid type and height. So you can use a container with same liquid type and height instead of the real tank. First, calibrate the full level, then empty level. Otherwise, the sensor could not enter the setting mode. 
put the sensor into container slowly. Now wait for 30 seconds until the sensor's tube is filled with fuel. Then press and hold the F button for 5 seconds until the green light flickers. Then release. This indicates the calibration for full level is in progress. After around 10 seconds, the green light will turn off. The calibration of the fuel level is completed. Then take out the sensor from the container. After the liquid is fully drained, press and hold the E button for about 5 seconds until the green light flickers fast, then release. After about 10 seconds, the green light will turn off. This indicates the calibration of empty level is completed. Attention please! The calibrator's red line is power indicator. If it becomes stuck, it indicates low battery. Need to change the battery and redo above steps. New battery can only be used for about 15 times of calibration. If press wrong button during calibration, please restart the calibrator by the power switch, then redo above calibration steps. Calibration finishes, disconnect the calibrator and put the cover back. Use AB glue or heavy duty adhesive to fix the rubber seal.
Apply the sealant to seal it.